It's late at night, and you find yourself laying on your couch. Sleep is so difficult this night. You have a lot on your mind. You turn on the television and start absentmindedly flipping through the channels. But all you can see are pretentious infomercials trying to sell you things that you don't need and talking in a chipper voice that annoys you. In frustration, you turn off the television and lean back on your couch, listening to the sounds of the waves crashing up against the cliffside. Maybe that will help lull you into a sense of slumber. Maybe that will release you from this infuriating torment that is insomnia. For some reason, this night there seems to be a tension in the air, a tension you can't quite place your finger on. You look about the living room of your apartment. Everything seems normal, yet there's this tingling at the back of your neck that something isn't quite right. The blue blinking standby light of your television rhythmically comes on and off, on and off, and as it does, it illuminates shadows across the wall, making mundane objects seem more sinister than what they really are. However, the light seems hypnotic in conjunction with the crashing waves, and slowly you find yourself drifting off to slumber. But you attain no solace in your sleep. As you begin to dream, you dream that something inexplicable and dangerous is stalking you down, drawing ever near, ever near, and just as you feel it breathing at the back of your neck, you find yourself snapping back awake. You mumble a silent curse to yourself for once again being plunged into this insomniac's nightmare. For now, you will have to start the long, arduous project of lulling yourself back to sleep. So again, you start fixating on the blue blinking light and the crashing of the waves, trying to hypnotize yourself back into slumber. It's just when you are about to sleep yet again that you are alarmed by an abnormal sound in your normally quiet apartment. You start looking about the room, trying to identify the source of the sound, but it doesn't take long as you realize it's coming from your sliding glass door and some unseen hands slowly pulling down the handle to open the door. You curse yourself for not thinking to lock your sliding glass door. But then again, why would you think of doing such a thing? After all, your apartment is four stories up, overlooking the ocean from a cliffside. However, you have no more time to think about it, as you watch in horror as the door methodically slides open, and something inexplicable begins to slither in. The End October 7th, 2017. Sean Parker Storytelling.